My name is Angela Pearson. I'm the Special Projects Manager for the Mayor's Office. Thank you all so much for being here. We're really excited to have this press conference to bring light to Black Maternal Health Week. That's starting tomorrow. Um, we are excited to partner with Jamas Birth Village, SSM Health, and Emmett Williams from Listen Tell Media to um, host a film screening tomorrow. And so with that being said, I'll introduce our first speaker, Okanshola Amadou, um, with the CEO and founder of Jamaa Birth Village. Greetings and Eid Mubarak to those who celebrate. Uh, my name is Okunshola Amadou. I'm founder and CEO of Jamaa Birth Village. I am honored to be a part of Black Maternal Health Week this year on behalf of Black Mamas Matter Alliance. Jamaa Birth Village is a Black Mamas Matter Alliance Kindred partner, and we've worked with them since 2018 to help provide Black maternal health solutions across the nation. Black maternal health has not always been a priority in the St. Louis region, and it really speaks to the volumes of, you know, Missouri being one of the last like, states to release our ancestors from enslavement. What we've witnessed um, across our region and across our nation is black women being disproportionately impacted by negative birthing experiences due to lack of access to comprehensive integrated maternal health care services, such as doula and midwifery care services, as well as having access to lactation counselors, community health workers, massage therapists, chiropractors, pelvic floor therapists, all of the comprehensive things that used to exist in our communities prior to colonialism and capitalism, even mental health care providers. So these are things that Jamaa Birth Village has helped to integrate and bring together in oneness since 2015 so that we can rebuild the village that was once torn apart. Um, unfortunately, statistics state that black women were safer giving birth in the early 1900s than they are today. We are excited to partner with the city of St. Louis, uh, Department of Health, and Mayor Tashara Jones's office, as well as very honored to receive the sponsorship of SSM Health so that we can provide advancements in black maternal health and make sure that preventable maternal mortality and morbidity deaths are um, stopped in our region as well as our state. This year, we're really excited to kick off the global launch of Black Doula Day. That is also in alignment with Black Mamas Matter Alliance and seven other black maternal health organizations across the nation. Tomorrow, April 11th, we'll acknowledge black doulas all over the nation and also across the diaspora. So we're looking forward to showing the screening of Sister Doula, which highlights Mama Hakima's pain journey in bringing black doulas into the forefront in the state of Missouri. We're really excited about celebrating and honoring black doulas in St. Louis specifically, as when Jamaa Birth Village was founded in 2015, there were less than 10 black practicing doulas in our region. Now there were doulas here before we came, but they were white upper middle class doulas serving white upper middle class communities. There were doula trainings here prior to Jamaa Birth Village, but again, they were white upper middle class doula trainings. So these were all things that were not available to our community. Since our founding, we've been able to train over 460 black doulas across the state of Missouri. And we're very excited to receive the prestigious award this year from Merck for Mothers called the Safer Childbirth Cities Initiative for helping to work with hospital partners and build the black doula community. So we wanna thank you again for welcoming and helping us to kick off a very dynamic Black Maternal Health Week this year. And we thank you again for being a part of the Black Maternal Health Solution in the St. Louis region. Thank you and I'll pass it over to uh, Dr. Mahdi. Good morning, everybody. Oh, thank you so much for responding. You know how I feel about that. Everybody knows how I am about that. It is dreary outside, but it is beautiful and joyful in this space. Um, it is wonderful to see so many people that I respect and admire and learn from. Um, I am Dr. Mati Thachwayo Davis, Director of Health for the City of St. Louis. Thank you for joining us this morning. 
Just a few weeks ago, uh, the Department of Health convened national stakeholders and leaders from across the region to discuss the very issue of maternal child health. I'm excited to continue to build on that momentum leading into Black Maternal Health Week, which is an annual week-long recognition that uplifts black maternal health in the United States. Every year we hear the same statistics, and every year those statistics um, are devastating to black women, um, especially for those of us um, fortunate to have, have born black children, uh, to constantly hear that the statistics um, represent pain and struggle does not reflect my story. I know it doesn't reflect your story or yours, Dr. Jade, right? Um, and so a mentor of mine reminded me that black maternal health doesn't always have to be a story of pain and of suffering. We know that the statistics tells us that there's a lot of work yet to be done. A 2023 March of Dimes report found that the reproductive health care was first, followed by mental health and substance use as factors re related to maternal vulnerability. So we know. We know that those issues are real. Um, but here, for us and for the city of St. Louis, we know that Black Maternal Health Week is, is a week that allows us to bring light to those issues, but to usher in a time of, of showing and representing what Black maternal health is. It is beautiful. It is joyful. It is celebratory. It is resilient. And it is here, right? And so that's what this week is about. Um, Partnering with Jamal Health, uh, Birth Village and SSM Health to highlight the current work of practitioners in this space is so important. And I look forward to hearing more from and viewing the incredible work of Emmett Williams tomorrow, who is helping tell that story. For the city of St. Louis, our story is very simple. We are working year round to address racial disparities to reduce black maternal and, and infant mortality. This work would not be possible without a wide array of partners, including Jamal Birth Village. I honor you today. Queen, thank you for teaching us, for leading us, for, for not stopping and not saying no. Um, we're joined by leadership from SSM Health. It is so wonderful to see Dr. Garza with us today, a mentor to me and so many of us who has brought the region together at a time where I'm so tired of using the word silo. It is this, this leader here who broke down those silos in COVID-19 and had us speak. So the partnership today reflects your leadership and your work. It's lovely to be able to give you your flowers. I know you don't like getting them because you're not that kind of person, but we're going to do it because the news is here and I can't. Um, <laughs> we're working with um, a lot of partners in the health sector, but also wraparound service providers to take a holistic approach to addressing all the needs of a birthing person, such as mental health, transportation, and appointments. You know, I'm going to, everybody knows I try to do the, the talking points thing, but I want to talk directly to you for a second and say, until we realize that maternal health is not monolithic until we realize that there are intersecting issues and crises upon crises that are contributing to this issue, we will not get there. So we need to be working alongside our, our mental health providers, our substance abuse providers, and the trusted messengers, the leaders that have been in community from community-based organizations across the city. Uh, but I particularly salute those in North St. Louis and parts of South St. Louis where the metrics have been devastating disproportionately for a long time. The leading cause of maternal mortality in our state is mental health, our, our mental health issues. By focusing on risk factors, screening pregnant and recently pregnant moms for depression and substance use, uh, substance use disorders, and providing re referrals and immediate sources, the unmet needs can be met, and, mortal, mo and, and maternal mortality cases can be prevented. In my department, we believe that deliver, the, deliverable, the, the delivery of equitable, culturally congruent, and people-facing services reduce the rates of congenital syphilis and pregnancy-related health disparities. Um, but as a physician myself, a physician who practiced um, in, this, in, 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 in and for and around black women for my whole career, I say that um, our, the way that medicine looks needs to change. And what this reflects today is what is needed, is when physicians work alongside and respect the voices and leadership of our doulas, our social workers, our CHWs, our nurses. So I celebrate all of the leadership today and hope to see it uh, better integrated in our, in our spaces. 
Um, we are committed to identifying and disseminating mental health, the transportation barriers, perinatal resource, uh, providing perinatal resources to hospitals and organizations, particularly in geographic areas at high risk. So that is why I'm so excited about this documentary that will be screening tomorrow, April 11th, because it's an opportunity to shed light on the work being done right here in Missouri, right here in our city, um, and to address our black maternal health disparities. And with that said, it's a pleasure to introduce Emmett Williams, the filmmaker behind the Sister Doula documentary. Thank you so much for your art and for your leadership. Thank you so much for that. That was unexpected. Um, hello, my name is Emmett Williams. I am a documentary filmmaker. For the last 20 or so years, I have been producing films around the world about different types of social justice issues. Um, and though, even though I've sort of attacked a lot of different issues, my the focus is always about a person or a group of people who are doing things that I think are heroic are amazing. And so uh, in 2018, I s just heard about Mama Hakima, Hakima Payne, um, at a dinner. And I was, was like, I want to make a film about her. And so I, not really knowing much about black maternal health. And so I met and she said, okay. And then we started the next week and over the next Five years or so, I filmed many, many doula classes and birthing exams and staff meetings. And um, yeah, and the result is Sister Doula, which is going to screen tomorrow. Um, when making this film, I when you start to make a documentary, you want to know if it's a good idea, so you talk about it all the time. And in talking about it, every single black woman that I spoke to had had some sort of negative experience with the US healthcare industry. And so I w that's when I knew that it's a story that I, I had to tell. Um, but also, I think it's really important when telling black stories to not always focus on black trauma, which is it's very easy to, to do that. I think we need to also focus on all the positive things that are happening in our community. And so I made sure that the film ended on a positive note, and I also made sure that the film really showed this community of doulas as heroes, uh, the heroes that they are. And um, so thank you all for all the work that you do. Um, really was uh, a really incredible experience. And um, yep, that's it. Thanks. I'm going to take your photo now for <laughs> I love that. my Very job. Good. Yeah. Part of my job is to always. <laughs> Good morning. I want to thank you um, all for being us, for allowing SSM to be a part of this. Um, I'm Dr. J. James Halbert. I am the chair of the department of OBGYN for SSM DePaul. Um, and that is no small task. <laughs> um, I want to honor Dr. Garza, um, who is our um, community engagement um, regional um, chair. Um, he has so many other titles and responsibilities and all of that stuff, but we'll just, we'll just go with that one for now. <laughs> um, I want to thank and honor Oconsola. Um, we've trained together, but we've been in this space, um, and I want to thank her for fighting the good fight. Um, because your voice um, as one of the cheerleaders, as one of the um, sort of truly pioneers um, to, to work in this space alongside of us. Um, there may be days where you feel like your work goes unnoticed, but I want to say to you, it doesn't. And it's because of you that we are here and that we are finding joy and happiness in this space that is often um, not as joyous and as happy for some. Um, to Dr. Mati, uh, my fellow colleague, my friend, my sister in healthcare, um, you have done an amazing job um, with trying to right the ship that has been sailing <laughs> such a rough course for so long. And so thank you for your leadership. Um, thank you for being here. Um, to the filmmaker, Emmett, um, we just met, but thank you for being a storyteller. Um, in the African village, um, storytelling is a big thing. 
And so we thank you for understanding the culture um, and for elevating the culture and for helping to tell the story. Um, and so I just want to say, um, and Okanchola just mentioned it, that it takes a village. And we at SSM enjoy being part of that village. Um, we know um, that, um, as she stated, the village has been dismantled. And the things that work best for us are when we put the pieces of the village back together. And so here we are um, as individuals, also as organizations working to put the village back together. So at SSM, we take a multifaceted approach to closing the gaps in the social determinants of health um, that can lead to tragic outcomes for women and babies. Among the racial disparities in St. Louis, in the St. Louis area, differences in maternal and infant health are among some of the startling statistics. And you heard them before, but I'll say them again. So our black babies are three times more likely to die than white babies. Our black mothers are three to four times more likely to die as compared to white mothers. Some of the root causes and contributing factors range from lack of access to healthy food and health care to misinformation to unhealthy environments and, the, and lack of transportation. Um, and those are only some of those causes. So what are we doing at SSM Health to help in this, um, in this space? So in the St. Louis, um, SSM in the St. Louis market is embarking on a mission to improve maternal health and infant health, especially through our Women's Wellness Center, which is located at St. Mary's Hospital. The new center focuses on comprehensive access to expanded and coordinated care for all women at every stage of pregnancy and throughout their entire wellness journey. Let me just speak the language of the people that are in the room. This is our um, opportunity to provide wraparound services. <laughs> so we can talk all these fancy words, but the bottom line is we're putting pieces of the village back together through our wellness center um, at St. Mary's. So um, part of those resources include behavioral health. We've heard that mental health is the number one driver of maternal morbidity and mortality um, for the St. Louis area, so for the state of Missouri, actually. Um, so we have women's behavior health services that supports women's behavior health care before, during, and after pregnancy through psychiatry services um, like mood, our mood disorder clinic, um, but also partnering with community therapists, so not just psychiatric services, but also therapy, counseling and therapy services. Um, we've advanced our telehealth to advance the technology to improve access to expert maternal care while removing the inconvenience of transportation. Um, we're working on a fourth trimester integration and transition center, which is a FIT center. Um, a third of the morbidity and mortality that occurs in the maternal death conversation happens after the woman has her baby. And so um, for centuries, we have allowed women to have babies and then go home on their own for four to six weeks before they touch base with their provider. That is not the way to go. Um, we, we, we've learned that, and if we haven't, we should have learned that. And so we're, we're focusing some of our attention efforts and resources on guiding women through that fourth trimester, which is after they have that baby. We actually have integrated doula support services at SSM. Um, <laughs> we have um, we have an active program um, through our OB care center at DePaul Hospital. We have an active program through our Wish Clinic um, at St. Mary's, where all of our patients are offered doula services. Um, if you are in one of our clinics, they are actually offered currently at no charge to the patient. Um, and all of our doulas are culturally congruent to the patients that we serve. So. Um, we have doula services that offer access and support. Um, we have full scope OBGYN services. I wanna brag on SSM a little bit. Um, those of us at SSM DePaul in particular, we have three, the only three physicians of color um, that are still accepting new OB patients. Two of them are private physicians out at SSM DePaul. One of them is Dr. Carolyn Pryor, um, who runs our OB care center out at DePaul. So when people are looking for culturally congruent um, obstetricians in particular, there aren't very many in the St. Louis region. Um, and so I'm gonna brag for a second to say we at SSM, particularly at SSM DePaul, have the three that exist. So. Um, we also offer peer support services. These are peer-led support groups for women dealing with overwhelming aspects of life during and after pregnancy, including our mom's line, our mom's group, breastfeeding support, and centering pregnancy. Um, beyond the women, 
beyond our Women's Wellness Center, we also have Perinatal Outreach Services, which is a collaboration with St. Louis, uh, St. Louis University School of Medicine. We offer educational programs and connections and resources um, to St. Mary's. Um, and then specifically our WISH clinic. Our WISH clinic is also at St. Mary's, but it is our substance abuse clinic, um, specifically for women who have struggled with substance abuse at any stage of that struggle. Um, but it, in this stage, they are pregnant. We offer them services. They off, they, each of them are offered doula services as well as part of their wraparound services, as well as um, um, health recovery and support regardless of where they are in active addiction or they have been rehabbed or wherever they're in that space of that addiction process. So our WISH clinic is specifically dedicated to our <clears throat> um, mothers who are affected by substance abuse. And then our OB Care Center at DePaul. Our OB Care Center is specifically separate from the private practice services, but our OB Care Center specifically focuses on um, underinsured women. Um, and it is a full ask, full spectrum obstetric services. Again, I talked about Dr. Carolyn Pryor who runs that service um, along with um, a couple of our nurse practitioners. Um, so whether you get your services at SSM St. Mary's or whether you get your services at SSM DePaul, um, we have done our best and will continue to look at ourselves internally so that we can provide the, the best care to our moms in the region externally. Thank you. Thank you to all of our speakers for being here today. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a great day.